So, high quality camera. Should not be squeezing my face because it shows. I'm still gonna do it, but I shouldn't, okay? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing my makeup, but I am gonna be doing it mirror free. That's it really. I don't know how it's gonna go. I feel like, I feel like I know my face. I'm sure everyone kind of knows their face. Like chances are you've probably lived with it for quite a while, but like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I could do it. But even saying that, I feel like that's just kind of jinxing everything. I wanted to do more challenges on my channel recently. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not the most serious person. Like everything is a joke to me. So when it comes to like doing makeup reviews, there's only so much of my personality I can put across. So I was like, okay, what can we do? That's not just me going, I love this. Wow. Let's create some chaos, you know? I also thought, cause I did get a few requests after doing my best of 2020. I had people saying like, can you do a tutorial using those products? And I was like, okay, well I've done that video. So I thought I would just use the majority of the products from that video on my face today. So yeah, the idea is I'm just gonna take away all my mirrors, all my viewfinders and pray. I'm manifesting a good makeup look. All those good vibes, all that energy. Come on, come on to my face. That. Don't clip that and take that out of context. Nah, do, I don't care. See, I have a bunch of mirrors around me when I film, not because I'm a vain bitch, but when I like turn to one side, I wanna be able to see a mirror, turn to the other side, I wanna be able to see my face. So I have this one here and this one underneath a load of rubbish. This one here. So I'm just gonna get rid of those over there. See, obviously I also have my phone. So I mean like, I can't really see myself on my phone unless I do open up my camera, but I am gonna put it over there. I have my viewfinder here on my laptop. I don't have a viewfinder on my camera. Like you can check, it's a Sony A7, A7R4. It's got like a viewfinder at the back, but it doesn't flip out. So I can't actually see anything with the camera, but I can see with uh, 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 my laptop here. So I will shut that in a second. But just again, so you guys know, I am not cheating. I'm gonna go through all of like my compacts and stuff and just cover up the mirrors. See you later. Can't see shit. My highlighter, bye. How am I gonna cover that up? That'll do. Almost missed one. I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette today, by the way, the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions. I've not tried this colorway. I've tried like a bunch of her other Obsessions palettes, but I just thought, I thought I would do something basically other than a standard smoky eye, just to make things a little bit harder for myself. Satisfied, we all satisfied? If you're not, I can't hear you anyway. See, so yeah, I'm now also gonna put on my headband. I'm bringing back the zebra. You should be able to see his little ears in this video now because of the camera. Oh, oh, oh. So this is why I need a viewfinder to make sure I don't look like an idiot. Yep, definitely don't look like an idiot. Look at it. So yeah, all that I've got left is my viewfinder on my laptop. So you can see, I'm closing it. This is weird. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just crack on, I suppose. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with my moisturizer. It's the Ulla Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream. I like to use this as a primer. I just do, all right? Okay, so this is the easy bit. I can just slather that all over my face, all over my eyes, all over my eyebrows and I'm prime, baby. The problem is, is I know throughout this video, my eyebrows are gonna do some wild things. Like, where's my brush? My eyebrows are just gonna do this throughout the video and I'm not gonna be able to tell. Like, I don't even know now if they're back up. I think they are. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Body Collection Illuminating Liquid Foundation, which is one of the cheap foundations that I used or that I mentioned in my best of 2020. So I'm gonna take two pumps of that. I feel like, again, this shouldn't be too hard because as long as I like, Cover all bases. Oh my God, I feel like I've already forgotten where I've been on my face. So I don't even know where to look because there is nothing for me to see. Okay, let me just do like a once over, right? Foreheads, we're gonna blend that in nicely. Tap, 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 so there's no real streaks. I feel like if I just, if I just spend ages doing every single step, it shouldn't be too bad. It might be the most boring video in the world of me just like staring into space like this. Okay, what do you reckon? Does that look okay? I don't know. I'm then gonna go in with my Bye Bye Under Eye. I use it in the shade medium. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my finger. So a little bit there. Tap that under, tap that under. Now I'm doing this, I'm like, actually this is more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Can't even get in there. I know I have a couple of spots around here. Where are you? Where are you, mate? They're just like falling off in the time being. I had a spot here, cause I remember squeezing it. Okay, got ya. Just gonna slap you on. Right, I know I had some spots around here, but I don't know where they are. I shaved one of them off the other day. I don't care. People like Hiram, James and Robert Welsh are probably cringing at me shaving spots off my face. Hey, listen, if it's a scab, I'm shaving it off, okay? I don't care. Right, I'm just, at this point I'm just slapping anything 
around my face and just hoping that it looks kind of okay. Did I do anything on my forehead? I don't know. So then I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I can feel I have a cat hair on my face, but I don't know where it actually is and I don't wanna disrupt my foundation too much. So I'm gonna go a little bit there. Jowls, jowls. I wonder what the hardest part of this is gonna be. I feel like eyebrows are gonna be pretty hard. Okay. Cheek. Did I put any there? I can't remember. Oh, I did my jowls, didn't I? I honestly don't even know where to look. Well, I suppose looking at the camera would be a good idea, but I feel like I don't just want to like stare into your soul just doing this. I feel like it gets a bit weird. Okay, over my lips, of course. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon that's all right? I'm making it all right. Okay, then I'm gonna move on to my powder. So I'm just the, the remix. So then I'm gonna move on to my Laura Mercier powder. And I'm gonna take this brush here. It is a Sigma Spotlight. I can't speak today, man. Spotlight diffuser. So I'm gonna go under my eyes first. I feel like I can't go too wrong with the powder. Oh, it's a cat hair on my nose. <laughs> what am I doing? I keep closing my eyes. I'm just like, okay. like why do I? Why does that help me? It doesn't. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So next. Gonna go with my bronzer, obviously. I can't see anything. I'm just making sure I open it so like the post-it doesn't fall off. There we go. I can't see a thing, okay? So I'm gonna take this angle brush and I'm gonna go in with my chocolate bronzer. I like to start off here and then kind of get it going. I've still got all of my stuff here on my desk from my favorites video and like, even from like a few things from my haul video. Still got my mm, cloud perfume. Let me know your guys' favorite perfumes actually because I am honestly the biggest perfume hoarder. I like everything. I mostly like granny-ish and like tobacco musky smell. So either something really masculine or something really like old lady. Oh, do I have to put lashes on for this as well? I haven't got any with me, but I might be able to get Ollie to go into my office and drag out some. If suddenly I end up looking a lot more tan, I promise I'm not like trying to blackfish or anything, okay? I can't see what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna go in with my Mac Give Me Sun. I'm gonna take a bit of this. This is quite warm, so I'm gonna make sure I take off a lot of that and just brush it on top there. Forehead a little bit. If this looks good, I don't know what I'm gonna do really. Like there's no real end to that sentence really. If this looks good, then cool. That's all. Yeah, I feel like I've got way too much like on the front of my cheeks. So I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. I'm like looking at the camera as if you guys are there and you're gonna give me like a certain look, but you ain't. Okay, shutting that, no mirror. So then I'm gonna go in with my Holly Boon Blusher. Yeah, I was, I was scared then. I was thinking, like, has a post-it note fallen off? But no, we're good. So I'm gonna take a tiny amount of this. I only ever use a really, really small amount, but I'm gonna take even less right now because I'm scared. So, just slight little taps. I love that I always resort to, like, still going back into, like, tutorial mode. Like, so guys, I'm just gonna put some slight little taps on my cheeks here. But for all I know, this could look awful. So if it does, I'm really sorry that I'm trying to be some fancy tutorial person. I ain't got a fucking idea what I'm doing. So then I'm gonna go into my Ofra Rodeo Drive. Okay, mirror's still covered up. Do I have a brush anywhere? Do a little, do a little taps. Is that looking good? I mean, it's Ofra, it's always gonna look all right, you know? Just gonna like work it like up here a little bit. And then I take a little bit more and above my brow question mark. Oh, I think the brows are gonna be a thing that just makes me look ridiculous, to be honest. Do my cupid's bow, a little milk mustache. Not too much, but it's probably a lot, let's face it. I'll do it on my finger for my nose as well. Like concentrating, like where is the tip of my nose? There, down the center. Is that okay? I need to stop asking that. You, you can't talk, you're a camera right now. When this video goes out, you're people, but right now you're, you're just a camera. Actually, while I've got this, I'm gonna take this little pencil brush, take some more of Radio Drive and... Okay, this is weird. Like even doing my inner corner, I'm like, okay, eyeshadow is gonna be hard. So then of course, I don't, I, I don't wanna not have this base on for a really long time. So I'm gonna use some of my setting spray. This is a very easy thing to do. Amazing, just put it in my eye. Now let's add a few little fake freckles. You guys know I love doing this. I'm gonna be using my Freck and this product is very, very easy to use. But if you don't blend like the little freckles out and tap them in, then they look pretty ridiculous. So I'm gonna go one. I can't even feel that really on my nose. So like I don't really know where it's gone. Okay, I've got some on my finger, I can see that. So I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap. I thought this video is just gonna be real of footage of me just like looking like this, like, it's like I'm holding in a fart or something. Blending these babies out. So then I'm gonna do my brows. So I have my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Like I said, like I feel like the brows are gonna be the crazy thing for me. So I'm gonna brush these up and just try to kind of soften it. And then like that. 
Is that gonna look nuts? It is, isn't it? I can tell by the look of your face. I can tell you're looking at me like, oh, here she goes, she fucked up. I'm just hoping that they're all kind of going in the same direction and I'm hoping they're not like, stupidly spiked up. So now I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay brow blade. So this has, I'm gonna use this side first, the pencil. This is gonna be the hard bit. Okay, so I need to, like where even is my brow? There, right, I'm not gonna go, how can I do this? I don't wanna go any higher than this, I don't think. So if I go there, and if I kind of go down, I can sort of feel where my brow hairs are. How pigment is this? Okay, quite pigment did. Just using a little stencil, you know? This is a very strange way to do my eyebrows. Right, a couple at the front. Taking risks here, people. That cat hair is still on my nose. Where the hell is my eyebrow? Where does it even end? I feel like I'm doing too much, I need to stop. Okay, let's try it with this side. Pull it up. I've completely lost track of what I've done with my eyebrows so far. I don't normally fill them in this much either. So why, why do I continue to do this? Just stop, I can't help it. How do they look? Oh, I need to do a few of these strokes as well. I'm gonna try and do a few of these in the front of my brow. Oh, that one fucked up, I can feel it. Eyebrow, where art thou? Oh no, I screwed up with that. I can feel it, it's like cold from where I've put it. Oh no, 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 no. So now, because apparently my brows aren't intense enough, I'm gonna add some gimme brow. So I'm gonna start off here, just to tint them a little bit, because I feel like the hairs are quite beige. I'm not trying to follow where they would be, so. Just there, can I even, can I see them? I feel like I can actually see them. I've never noticed that, I can see my eyebrows. When I frown, <laughs> this is the thumbnail, I can literally see them a little bit. Ha, okay. I feel like I've hunched down loads as well. I feel like I need to be sat up more. Where's the start of it? Do you like? Do I have brow goals right now? Oh, should we just do eyeshadow? Should we just get it over and done with? Okay. So yeah, for my eyeshadow, I have the Emerald Obsessions palette from Huda Beauty. Like I said, I've tried many of these palettes before, so it's not like a review, but it's the first time using this one. Let's take a fluffy brush. Nah, I was gonna go in for brown, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go in with this green hit, uh, mm. yep, this green shade here. How pigmented are you, mate? You're pigmented enough. You're not too pigmented, thankfully. I probably shouldn't have set my lid down. All I wanna do is just like look in this mirror. All right, here's my eyelid. Go. So I'm just gonna stamp that around first and try and correct my posture so I don't look like a little prawn creature. Okay, and now I feel like I've got most of the product off the brush, so I'm gonna wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Duh, 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 duh. Just by how it feels, like it's still kind of tacky, so I'm like, can I add some more? Lemonade. Mm. There's no chance I'm gonna be able to do this properly, so like, I just need to accept that. I just need to accept that this isn't gonna look good, and that's okay, because I'm not going anywhere, because we're not allowed. I'm gonna go straight on my lower lash line, actually. Just while I'm here. Same color, same brush. I feel like this bit isn't too bad, because I usually just roughly go on my under eyes anyway. This is when I can just like look at you guys in that awkward way and just do this. Are you feeling uncomfortable? Let's have a staring contest, actually. Um, let me do it with this eye. Right, let me just get this on there. Right, staring contest starts now. Tell me honestly in the comments. Oh my God, it's actually way harder than I thought. Ugh, I bl that wasn't very good. Uh, I was gonna say, tell me in the comments who you blink first. If you blink before me, you can't lie, you have to let me know, okay? In the comments, right, let's go. These lights are actually way brighter than you probably think, so... Mm, I already wanna blink, cause, ah! Uh... Well, that was good. Please tell me at least one of you blinked before I did. I need to make sure I do the same, like from one eye to another, otherwise I probably will just forget. Lower lash line is literally mixing with the tears coming out of my eyes from trying to keep them open. That was shameful, I'm sorry. Pretty sure this is a mistake, but I'm just adding more. And I might even pat a little bit on the outer corner as well, you know? Windshield wipe emotions, hell yeah, bitch. Oh, this is gonna look so bad, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm done with that. Both physically done and Emotionally done. I should probably get a little bit of this lighter green on my brush and take Pepe's hair off there and just try and get a bit of a blend there just on my brow bone, in my crease, something along those lines. Whatever part of my face I'm poking right now. Does this look good? Can someone please tell me this looks okay? Then I'm going to go in with, it's gotta be the middle one I think. Um, do I have anything to wipe anything on? Michael, can I wipe this on your bum? No? Okay, well I will wipe it on my sock. So I'm gonna use a little flat brush for this and I'm gonna take this middle shade. Oh, I feel like I had loads of fallout then. I'm gonna go on my lid, like kind of in the middle here maybe, hey baby. Oh, I felt more fallout again. <laughs> if I just blow on my face loads. 
I just spat on, up my own face. Uh, okay, we'll do the other side. Now that my face is covered in a mixture of spit and fallout, and yeah, just a lot of makeup. Oh my god, I literally have got like spit all over my face. Who needs setting spray when you can just spit on your own face? Next time, I'm not doing setting spray anymore. I'm just gonna tilt my head up, gob up in the air, and just let it fall on my face. Less plastic, you know? Oh no, I felt more fallout. <laughs> get it off, get it off. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, let's just do mascara while I'm here. So I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Telescopic. This is such a good mascara. This probably isn't gonna sell it to you guys, but it is a really good mascara. Okay, so I'm gonna look straight ahead and try and dig it in without poking myself in the eye. I realize as well that when I haven't got a mirror and I can't see what I'm doing, I can't talk, I'm just like, and then I, yeah, uh, oh, definitely touched my eyeball then with that. Beautiful. Is that okay? Yeah? The worst thing is you have to use everything like a guide. So like, my guide right now is my inner waterline. So once I tap that and then it stings, I'm like, okay, then I can go down. Uh, okay, let's now do my lips. I'm gonna use my Aviv liner from Jamie's brand and I'm gonna use it in the shade Velvet Sand. So it looks like this. I should be able to do this okay-ish. Cause obviously I've got lip filler. I don't have like a full on ridge as such, but like when you do get filler, there is a bit of a ridge. So as long as I kind of stick to that, should be okay. I've been saying that about a lot of things and right now I probably look like a mess, but I'm gonna start here. I'm focusing right now. If I just look off into the distance, it's not cause I'm looking at anything. I'm just like blaz blazing, blazing squad. I see you at the crossroads. No, I'm just like gazing into the distance. Yeah. Okay, let me try and get something around here. Let's fill them in. And then my little liner's getting all nubby. Here, here, and then I follow my fake ass lips. That wasn't good, I can tell that wasn't a good one. Then I'll go in with my Vive lipstick, literally in the shade Vive, and hopefully this will like cover everything up. Okay. Mm. This shouldn't be that bad. Okay, is that everything right now? Do I need to now go, should I just do liner and lashes? I'm gonna go and do that. I don't have, in my office, you might have seen it in my house tour, if I go in, in like the next one of my windows, I don't have it if I go straight to my drawer, take out a liner, and take out some lashes. There aren't any mirrors there. I can prove it otherwise, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. So I'm gonna go get some liner, like some felt liner, and I'm gonna get some lashes, and I'm gonna attempt to put them on, okay? Trying not to step on Michael. Okay, so I've got a felt liner from NYX. My eyes also now started twitching, which is fab. And now I have some red cherry lashes in the style Moller. Why did I mention this? Okay, let me just check. Yeah, we're all good. Should have done this before I did my mascara. Okay, a little bit there, little bit there. Oh no, this is bad, man. I'm not even good at liner anyway, let alone normally. Like what? I don't know what I just did. Right, I'm gonna start here again. I wonder if it's better if I just close my eyes. I don't need to look at anything. Going along there. Okay, I can feel there's some like wetness, which is useful. I just put myself in the eye. I don't know what I just did then. That didn't feel good. Where are you? Where is my face? Oh, no, that wasn't good. That was not good. This isn't good. I know it's not, so I'm just gonna quit there. So then yeah, for my lashes, I have these guys from Red Cherry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these into like outer corner ones. And I'm gonna cut off like two thirds-ish. Let's try that. Okay, this, regardless of how my makeup is looking right now, this is gonna ruin it, I'm telling you, because I can't even really put lashes on properly when I have a mirror, let alone when I don't have one. Oh my God, where is my eye? I feel like it's actually gonna be easier for me to do it with my fingers, you know? If I just squish it literally onto my eyelid, can't be that bad. Like if I literally just like mesh it in with my lashes, it might look janky as hell, but at least in the right place. Wait, is it, it literally fell off my face then? Okay, let's try that again. I'm just gonna go in, boom. That ain't right, I'm telling you now. Mm. Any chance of this being a good makeup look just went straight out the window. Uh, what is my hat? I've got like a weird like crab claw here. Oh God, I think I literally folded the lash on itself. Oh, that's definitely not in the right place. Hello, this is how I lose my eye. Oh, I think that's it. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just make sure everything's blended in around my cheeks. Cause just cause my eye makeup might look janky and by might, I mean it definitely does. Doesn't mean my base makeup has to. Am I done? Romy, you're done. Okay, yeah, um, I'm gonna say that I'm done. Here's my mirror. Am I done? Okay, we, mm, not good. However, the eyeshadow I was thinking was gonna be atrocious. Oh my God, look at my eyelash. Look at my eyelash here. Why is the end of my false lash 
I mean, the lipstick is actually decent. I line my lips pretty well, I think. Wait, I actually do that better than normal half the time. I've got fallout all over my face. I knew that. I'm actually oddly impressed with the eyeshadow though. I really am. Actually, my base makeup doesn't look half bad. It's a bit kind of like wishy-washy, like all over the place, but I really don't think it looks that bad. Okay, my freckles mixed with the fallout from my eyeshadow is an interesting look, but my freckles could be blended more, but again, not too bad. Ow, oh, I've seen worse. I've done worse. I honestly really thought it would be a whole lot worse than that. I really did. Don't get me wrong, I don't look great right now. This, I can see this eyelash when I'm like talking, I'm just like, hello. But I'm, I did better than I thought I would, to be quite honest. Let me know how you guys think I did. What was the part of the video where you went, oh yeah, nah, that's not looking good. I feel like for me, it was like the liner. If I just did my natural lashes and my eyeshadow, I feel like it would have looked okay. I just had to go and ruin it and make it more difficult for myself by adding liner and freaking lashes. If I look really far away from myself, I'm like, okay, that's not actually too bad. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've done this. If you guys have done this on your channel, I would love to watch you suffer in the most loving way. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, as always, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But apart from that, there's it from me. I don't know why my hands always do this when I talk. It's like, I just don't know how to socialize with a camera. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.